Okay, so here's our new classroom. Here's our fun cubbies. We got a new little cubby friends for everybody. Um, we also this year did um, a school directory and a student handbook and um, a sick policy that all the teacher or the parents have to sign. Um, this is our new classroom. We have a new floor, new rug. Um, we put our file folder games right here on the, the wall. We have a um, notice board so parents can see any notices that I need to um, tell them that I may not have an opportunity to actually tell them in person. We have our awesome artwork that our students made a couple of years ago with Miss Mary. Um, this area is our circle time area, our large group teaching area. Um, instead of carpet squares, we have a line on the floor um, that I put down with just um, electric tape um, so it's really smooth um, on the floor and they'll sit on that um, so of course we have a temperature thing we have a reminder of our character a peaceful character um, hand there we have our calendar here calendar weather months um, days of the week and all that good stuff and then um, that is my teaching resources um, and then my chair we have our happy face and sad face um, kind of how they're acting during our um, large group teaching. And then this board, it's kind of a mess right now, but is our word wall um, that changes every single week. Up above, we have all of our letter friends um, that we learn out of order. We do the 70s um, version of letter people. Um, this classroom is our toddler classroom, and I'll give you a tour of that later. Um, but moving into our classroom here, this is our culture and science area right here. So we have um, some books that are specific to some of the things we're going to be talking about um, pretty soon. Pumpkins, apples, fall. Um, we also have other kinds of books um, that go with the theme of culture and science. Um, we have a continent map there. It's a puzzle. We have a globe. Um, we have some special friends down here that we can read with, um, different animals and things like that. Um, moving over here, we have a terrarium that doesn't have anything in it right now, but um, we'll have some stuff in it. And then we've got some fun games and activities um, on the shelf, some mystery boxes and um, fun things here. Again, some more books. Um, this shelf is brand new. We're super excited about that. Um, you can see... We also have fun kites hanging from the ceiling, and we've got some um, couple of tables and chairs so kids can sit down and do their work. Um, we have a couple more chairs and tables here. And then we have this awesome new rug here in the middle, so it makes it nice and comfortable. And this little section right here is our sensorial area. We made red rods there, and I made um, sound game and smelling games and things like that. We have knob cylinders. We have color um, box number two, some other matching games and things like that. Um, so that is our sensorial area. Um, moving around, we have um, a table and chairs here for our practical life area. And this is half of our practical life area. This is more um, of the kitchen type stuff. So we've got banana cutting, we've got um, spooning and scooping, and we have um, apple slicing. We'll have um, dry pouring. We also um, have some uh, more practical things like table setting and um, uh, flower arrangements. Um, and then this is the other half of our practical life area. We have um, pincher um, games working on our pincer grip. We have um, some fun things like our um, cutting game and our drawing game, our pin poke game, we have mystery bags, folding game, and we have lacing, and um, down at the bottom we have some books about community helpers, and then also we have um, a basket that has some dressing um, baby dolls. So then we have a fun birthday board and a new clock, and then moving back over this way, we have our um, alphabet and letters, kind of our literacy area back here. So we have some fun games. We got some sand sandpaper letters. Um, we have some puzzles, things like that. And then we, over here we have our math and numbers. 
We also made red and blue rods, which is awesome. We also have a binomial cube and a spindle box, woohoo, um, among other things. So we've been very blessed. We have a hundred board on the wall over there. Um, we also have the alphabet up high, so we have it in alphabetical order. So if the kids um, are working with alphabetizing things, then they have a guide up there. This is um, still teacher shelf, but also um, uh, art supplies that the kids can get to. So there's glue sticks and scissors and things like that there. And then at the bottom down there, we've got um, colored pencils and crayons and markers and um, coloring books and things like that. Um, and then in this corner, um, we still have a shelf that we need to make, um, for that corner right there, but it's going to be our, um, writing and our art, um, kind of thing, like pre-writing and stuff. And then we've got all of our art displays, um, right here on this wall. And we have our workspaces, our mats, um, for workspace, um, as they're doing work on the floor. And then this, right now, this... <laughs> horrible eyesore, um, is going to be still our, um, dress up closet as it's part of our, um, dramatic, uh, I mean our, um, practical life area. But right now, um, we are in the process of washing a bunch of those things. So it's kind of a display closet <laughs> right now. So, um, yeah, we've been really excited about, um, introducing our new, um, classroom to all of our students. Um, everything, it looks completely different, but it looks bigger. It's kind of really weird because we have more, um, furniture than <laughs> we did before. Um, things are a lot more like blocked off and stuff, but it actually looks a lot bigger. So anyways, that's our classroom. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.